All right, and I haven't even made my way to the spot yet, but diamond looks fantastic. Inspect this for the very first time. Let's finish. Oh, look at that sight it comes with. Honestly, pretty bulk. Oh my, that is freaking fantastic. All right, and welcome back, guys, with the Season 5 Reloaded update that we got last night. We got a brand new Mastercraft bundle, and honestly, this is kind of one of the biggest bundles they've teased for Season 5 Reloaded, and we already got it, and not gonna lie, I'm super excited to review this. That being the Tracer Pack Ghost Ship Mastercraft bundle reads off, take a forever voyage and never return to port with the Tracer Pack Ghost Ship Mastercraft bundle. Note this features blueprints with Cyan Tracer Fire. That is awesome, so I can't wait to get in game, test all that. Gotta give a huge thanks to Lolborg, man, actually gifted me this pretty much as soon as the update went live before I had a chance to sit down, make the video and record it here. The main thing you get with this bundle being the Flying Dutchman aug variant right here i originally thought this was going to be an em2 but uh no turns out it's going to be an aug look at the detail on this weapon though so much stuff going on i cannot wait to see what this looks like with pack-a-punch camos diamond dm ultra all that good stuff and in warzone now you can put the dark aether camo on that which is pretty cool we actually showed this with the dark aether camo and a video that we posted right before this if you want to check that out then moving on to that we've got a ppsh variant here and actually looks kind of cool in and of itself too got a bunch of stuff all over it and i wonder what all you'll be able to see once you put mastery camos on with that then next we get a pirate coin charm bring your luck along for the ride with the pirate coin charm pretty basic no animation here we'll use it for the video but i'll probably never use it after that then we get the pirate will reticle this is the most distracting sight i think i've ever seen we're gonna put it on but uh yeah probably never gonna use it after this that is a nasty sight then we get the boarding craft vehicle skin and now that armada's in zombies we're actually able to use these skins in zombies so we'll equip this and we'll see if we can go ahead and get this and what it looks like in game it's pretty cool maybe it's got some animation effect the last few bundles we've got actually the vehicles themselves had animation on it so doesn't look like it but we'll try it then we've got a vehicle skin here so let's go ahead and give this a listen All right, that's cool, I guess. Then we've got the Pirate's Code Watch. This is just a watch for looks. It doesn't do anything different. Actually looks kind of cool, but once again, I'm probably gonna end up using a step tracker watch or something like that. Then last, we get a Ghostly Captain Emblem and a Lost Ship calling card. It looks like they kind of merge together. And actually, this calling card's kind of sick. Most of the time, I brush off calling cards, but look at all the different scenery it takes you from. That's pretty sick. We'll see how that looks in game in combination with that emblem overall a very solid bundle but the main two things being here the flying dutchman and the ppsh variant with that being said every time i make one of these videos people ask for my creator code i personally don't have one but i'm a list of people on screen you can use one of their creator codes and if you buy this bundle or anything else in the shop they'll get a little bit of a kickback uh yeah so let's go ahead hop in game and test out this bad boy i am excited and just like that we're now loaded into mallard or toten i decided to spawn in with the ppsh because i think the aug is a wall buy if not Either way, we'll go ahead and get it out of the box. So this is what the PPSH looks like. Looks pretty sick, but honestly, I'm more interested in the AUG. We'll test this out with camos as well. Then on top of that, we do have the uh, the watch. We'll give that a quick gander as well. We'll actually have some flashlight off for that. So yeah, watch, pretty basic. Something I'm not going to use after this. And then that's the reticle. And probably the worst reticle I think I've ever seen. That is That is so bad. Uh, it's got the cyan tracers, which actually a really bright standout color for the tracers. And then we've got the uh, the charm, which very, very basic. That being said, let me go ahead, get the variant. And don't worry, I know Mauer or Toten's a dark map. I just want to see what the Mauer or Toten Pack-a-Punch camos look like on these weapons. Then we're going to go to Nuketown, test them out on a bright map. And then with, you know, the mastery camos. While I'm go- Ooh, we got the Rampage Induce, so let's activate that. While I'm getting set up and doing that, if you're new here and want to sub, I would greatly appreciate it. We're trying to hit our goal of 175,000 subs. And on top of that, I got to give a massive thanks. Everybody's going to like, comment, and watch this video in its entirety. Those three things help my channel out so freaking much. I definitely understand why they went for these cyan tracers. Honestly, it almost looked like a ghostly effect coming out of the gun while you're shooting. Like, especially in these dark rooms, look at that. 
It almost looks like white tracers. It's very, very ghost-like, and it's going to be super fitting for the AUG. And one more thing before I forget, this right here is the emblem and calling card combination together. I really do like these ones. This is one of the few sets of calling cards I'm probably actually going to run after this review's over. Oh, I got the Rampage Inducer on. Ah, there we go. There's the AUG. Oh, got to get rid of a ray gun for it, but completely worth it. Go ahead, apply it. The Flying Dutchman. I'm just now actually registering that name. I think I might have read it off earlier, but I didn't really register that the name of this weapon was the Flying Dutchman. Let's go ahead, inspect this for the very first time. Let's finish. Oh, look at that sight it comes with. Honestly, pretty bulky. Not something you're going to want to use an MP. Not a very competitive sight, but let's inspect it. Wait, there's audio. All right, that's pretty sick. It's got audio, it's got a ghost, it's got cannons. That's a pretty sick Mastercraft. I'll have to give it to that. That is pretty freaking sick. So now what I gotta do, build up points so we can go ahead and pack a punch this, see what the camo coverage looks like. I love those lights on the back. Unfortunately, they're pretty much off screen and you really can't see any of the lights. You can only see them a little bit while reloading. But, um, you know, even though the AUG isn't that great in zombies, I am so glad we finally got an AUG blueprint because a lot of the Mastercrafts, a lot of the reactive blueprints are always for the same weapons. And for me, it really doesn't matter. Yeah, the AUG's not super competitive in zombies. Like, it's not a bad weapon. It's not great either. But I don't ever use it because I don't have any cool looking blueprints for it. I don't really have a reason to go out of my way to use the AUG. But now there'll be games where I'm just going to load in with this because of this sick weapon that I have the opportunity to use now. So it's pretty happy. And I would love to see some other weapons like the AUG, maybe the DMR, the Type 63, other stuff like that to also get Mastercraft. Some of the, uh, you know, more forgotten about weapons in this game. All right, round 12. Let's go ahead, pack a punch the PPSH here. See what the camo coverage looks like. Actually, this might be my new favorite PPSH to run because most of the other ones don't look like anything once you pack a punch them, but you can still see the barnacles on this weapon once pack a punch. That's pretty sick. But for the weapon, we all came here to see. Oh my. That is freaking fantastic. And you've got like the little mist coming off the side. It actually matches the pack a punch camo for the tier one. That is sick. This is going to be hard to top. I don't think mastery camos are going to be able to beat the tier one pack a bunch camo. This thing looks fantastic with this, and it goes so well with that mist coming off the side. It's legitimately the same color as the pack a bunch. It matches the bullet shooting out of the weapon. We'll still go to tier two and three, but uh, dude, even the flag has the pack a bunch camo. We pack a punch the freaking flag. See, I love it when they take the time to make these Mastercraft weapons have amazing camo coverage. And this one, this one has beautiful coverage. Well, we just went down. Doesn't matter though. We have enough points to go ahead and finish pack a punching these. Not gonna lie, it took me a long time to get this set up. I failed this run multiple times. This will be the fifth video I have posted since I've been up here. We have almost been up for 30 hours now grinding content since the season launched. Here is the tier two pack for the PPSH. Semi-interesting. Then tier three, ooh, actually, you know what? Those barnacles kind of match a little bit on this one. Yeah, for the PPSH, I'm gonna have to go with the final tier, although it is gonna be so hard. Yeah, uh, not actually, I mean, the green kind of works with the ghost effect. I still think I prefer number one though, but green is definitely not bad. But finally, let's test out the final tier of Paga Punch on the, ooh, dude, that gold, that, I don't know, man. I know I said it was going to be hard to beat that. Dude, look at that flag. The gold works so well. We've got a golden ship. And that purple still works really well with the mist coming off of it. The ghost still matches. Yeah, I did it. All right. I, I think I'm going to change it. I know it said it was going to be hard to beat to beat the top one. But this tier three actually looks fantastic now the real question is is can the mastery camos beat this out i am so interested to see how diamond looks on this usually when you've got a bunch of intricate stuff diamond looks crazy so with that being said actually we gotta hop an outbreak real quick and then we're gonna go into a private match check out diamond dm ultra all that stuff finally here we are on the outbreak map that has the jet skis took me so freaking long to get this map whenever i'm going for a certain map it just doesn't want to give it to me this is what it looks like and 
Yeah, I'm not super impressed with it. I think there's some better jet skis out there. However, we didn't have the option to use the jet skis at the time when those bundles came out. So it's not terrible and it's better than the default skin, but I definitely wouldn't get this bundle for the jet ski. All right, let's check out this weapon inspect in kind of a more bright setting here. I love the music, bro. I wish other ones would actually add more music and stuff like that with it. Love it. Looks fantastic in the dark. Looks fantastic in the light. Here's the PPSH. And honestly, this looks so much better in the light when you can see all the little details on it. That being said, let's switch to our gold class. All right. That looks pretty sick. Actually, looks pretty good gold. I don't think it's better than the Pack-a-Punch camo. But the gold is definitely very solid on this. And a lot of guns don't look that great with gold. This is definitely a way I'd rock this. Moving on to the PPSH. Actually, you can see the engraving on the wood. You can see kind of like the grain in that. That's pretty sick. But uh, let's see the other camos. All right, and I haven't even made my way to the spot yet, but diamond looks fantastic on this weapon. That is clean. I don't know. I don't know if I like the Pack-a-Punch version better or the diamond version, but so far, every camo we put on this Mastercraft has looked absolutely amazing. They really did take the time with this one. I dude, it's gonna be a hard decision, but it looks great with that. Moving on to the PPSH, also looks really good. I think I preferred the gold just a little bit more because you had more texture with it. But um, either way, both these weapons look fantastic with diamond. Oh, here we go. This is the DM Ultra camo. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of like the black DM Ultra accent, but it really works well on this ship. It really has got that nice contrast to it. And uh, yeah, it, it just works. It actually just works. I don't know. I don't know what I prefer, this or diamond. They're all so unique and so different, but either way I'm rocking it, I'm enjoying it. DM Ultra is by far my favorite on the PPSH so far. The fact that you can still see the grain in the wood and you can see all the little details, this is a fire looking PPSH. All right, here we go with the Golden Viper camo. Yeah, I don't hate it, but it's definitely my least favorite so far. Golden Viper on the PPSH. Yeah, once again, don't hate it, but it's probably my least favorite so far. And now for the Plague Diamond camo. I like it, but I prefer the normal diamond. This one's just a little too bold for me. I don't know, not quite my thing, but the regular diamond it was great on it. Same thing with the PPSH. I think I still just kind of prefer definitely the DM Ultra on this. All right, now last but not least, the Dark Ether camo. And unfortunately, it's got a lot of dark spots on it. I think I kind of prefer the DM Ultra and the Pack-a-Punch versions over this. It's just way too dark in the middle part. It really is. This looked way better in the Warzone version. And like I said, if you want to see the Warzone version, we covered that in our Dark Aether coming to Warzone video. But um, the flag looks sick, though. The Dark Aether flag is fantastic. But um, I don't know. It just seems to have too much of the dark parts on it. And it's not very vibrant. Moving over to the PPSH. Actually, I think I, I don't know, man. The PPSH looks great with both DM Ultra and Dark Aether. But overall, I don't know, so many things look fantastic on this AUG. And I am really glad that we got this bundle because I'm so excited to use guns that aren't the meta stuff and zombies. And I'm definitely going to be using the AUG here and there now that I've got this awesome Mastercraft, boys. But with that, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this review. Once again, huge thanks to you, Lolborg, for gifting me the bundle before I had the option to go ahead and get it myself. And uh, yeah, besides that, let me know what your favorite camo on this bundle was. Do you think this bundle's worth it? And are you going to get it yourself? But with that, boys, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Real quick here at the end of the video, I want to thank everyone who became a YouTube sub or a Twitch subscriber. And extra special thanks to everyone who became an Unlock Plus Plus member on YouTube. We've got the man, the myth, the legend, Cryptic. We've got Hunter Reed Don Doe. We've got the man whose name should be really easy to pronounce, Yamasta. We've got the legend Sergeant CJ, the ETOL lawyer you don't cross hoss. We've got the friend who always comes through, Drew. The DMCA claim waiting to happen, Snap and then we've got Luke.